Thompson Center Compass lineup of rifles, you know, I'm going to flash back when they first came out. You know, you were looking at a model uh, that hit the streets with a great price point with phenomenal features right out of the box. You know, it was designed to provide, you know, one inch groups at 100 yards with, with good ammunition, you know, right when you got it. Came uh, fixed with weaver mounts so you can mount your scopes very easily and, and without, you know, spending a ton of time worrying about it. Great scope clearance on the barrel or on the bolt so you know when you were working it you're looking at a three position safety to where you can tell when it's all the way back that bolt's locked for carrying moving around. I mean it's easy to see from a visibility standpoint. You move it to the middle position that's your safety position all the way forward that's your fire. A flush mount rotary magazine uh, you know that's, that's easy to load slaps right in holds four to five rounds depending on the caliber that you're dealing with. Uh, also comes, you know, factory direct with uh, the ability to thread a suppressor on. I mean, it's right there, so you're going to be able to use it. Now, when you flash forward to the Generation 2, you're basically uh, adding a trigger to an already proven performer at an affordable price that's going to be in the three to four pound range of pull. What that gives you is a crisp, easy trigger uh, action that, you know, that's going to help improve your accuracy even more. Uh, you're not going to feel that long pull that you find in a lot of rifle models out there. I mean, it's, it's, it's so sweet when you pull the trigger. You're just going to want to shoot box after box through it. And I know for me, when I look at the Compass, uh, you know, we've, we've seen it in action in New Zealand, climbing the mountains for Himalayan tar, Red Stag. Uh, I shot a giant kudu in South Africa with it. I've seen it in action on a variety of other species. We've been field testing this new Compass uh, for the last few months as well. And so when you look at the proven performer that the Thompson Center Compass is, at the price point that you can purchase it at, at the variety of calibers that it comes in, it's a model of, of rifle that, you know, I think anybody that likes to hunt uh, wants to put one of these into their uh, into their safe, into their closet, wherever they're going to store it, and that they're going to want to get out in the field with time and time again because it's going to perform in the, the rugged mountains, the flat deserts, the, the cold weather you're going to encounter up in a deer stand, in a pop-up line. It's just a proven performer that's accurate, dependable, rugged, and it's not going to break the bank. smoke that deer right there. I mean, the compass does it again. How cool is that? We have sat here quite some time and we've seen quite a few really cool deer coming through here this little pond. And I mean, every time we've sat here, we've seen a lot of really good deer, you know, young deer getting around, moving around, doing all kinds of different things. We've, I mean, this has been one of the coolest spots to sit just because of everything we've seen. But that deer there, he's still in velvet and he's late in the year. It's, it's some kind of stag. Um, basically, you know, that can be a, a birth issue. It can be a low testosterone thing. Uh, it's just hard to say really what caused that. But that is one of the coolest deer right there. He's just an eight point, but what a beautiful deer out there. I mean, he just come in, come off that hill. There was four other bucks kind of running together and they just kind of eased all down in there and got right out in front of the scouting camera. We put a record rack uh, block out there, one of those wild berry blocks. And I mean, those deer just absolutely love that. And he got, got over there and was eating on it, milling around, and we got him, a TC Compass. This is a generation two one where I was talking about that new trigger. Doesn't take about three or four pounds. Bam, smoked him. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> just a neat, neat story. You gotta take him with the second generation compass uh, you know I'm out here hunting this is this one's I mean they're, they're not even available while I'm I'm doing this to the to the public this will be released uh, you know when you first see this video a lot of you guys it will just have been released and uh, as far as I know this very well may be one of the first whitetail if not the first whitetail ever taken with the, the generation 2 model so just a 
the knee trophy. And then not only that, we're gonna fill the we're gonna fill the freezer up with this one. Pan sausage. That's what Miss Angel has asked for out of the next beer I get this year. Smoke. <laughs> when you look at a rifle of this quality at this price point, the Thompson Center Compass 2 model is certainly one that you'd better pick up.